Hello, my name is Tom Carhill. It's Friday, the 1st of November, 2019. This video um, concerns Keith Vaz, right? K-E-I-T-H space V-A-Z. Often described as the most corrupt politician in England. He's, um, uh, I think he's an Indian, probably British-born Indian MP. And he's always blamed for all the corruption all the time. Um, again, it's a bit like a kind of a sort of stalking horse or, you know, like he's, he's put out there and they throw all the mud at him and then he occasionally resigns or something, you know, like they all do. And then they just continue to do exactly what they were doing and they make a lot of news stories about it and it's all just a load of nonsense. Now, a little while ago, it might have even been two years ago now, um, but this is the thing, it's popped up in the paper, so there's something come up about it again. Not the actual physical paper, but, you know, the online paper. Uh, a while ago, there was this story that came out about him um, calling up a Romanian male prostitute and getting him to bring him and his friend around and uh, bring some cocaine that he was saying he'll buy and he wanted a certain amount of it and um, also he was asking how big the guy's penis was or something like this. Anyway, now the thing is that that's basically, uh, don't quote me on it, it's not really that interesting what the story said, but the whole point is this was a very clearly recorded call. And um, the whole thing is that people don't realise in England because they are completely stupid that when people get elevated to a certain position, they have such a lack of respect for you, the public, right, that they're quite happily make a complete fool of themselves, in inverted commas, because they don't have any respect for you. So if some pleb walking down the street, some peasant thinks that he's been meeting up with male prostitutes, well, he may well have been, but the chances are... That will be nothing. We have no bearing on these videos. Do you see what I mean? The, the or two of these recordings they got of him. So they're just sticking this stuff out there. If you like, he's taking one for the team. It could even just be another source of distraction news on tap, like the Madeleine McCann hoax. You know, they just have these constant taps that you can just turn on and distract the public and have them tittering away at themselves and thinking that they're really clever because they've got one over on the establishment because this story's leaked out. Nothing leaks out, ever. Nobody gets on the nobody gets on the TV unless they've been thoroughly screened by the MI5. Yeah, you don't get on the TV. So anybody who thinks anything different is completely deluded. So anyway, that's it. This Keith Faz, don't pay any attention to it. He is laughing at you a million times more than you're laughing at him if you actually believe this shit. All right, he may well be homosexual. It really doesn't matter. Like. Elton John might be homosexual. I mean, he definitely looks like a wrong one, doesn't he? He definitely looks like a deranged homosexual freak. But that's not to say that he actually is a deranged homosexual freak. But they just give you that impression, make you accept that he is, and then they push an anti-family, anti-children, pro-paedophile agenda. OK, thank you. My name's Tom Kyle, and it's Friday, the 1st of November. 2019. Thank you for listening and watching. I'd appreciate your comments.